name is Kayla Lindsay. Um, I'm a graduate of Howard University and I'm running for president as a candidate for the Party for Socialism and Liberation. Um, we're running this election because what the two major politicians are talking about is so far from what working people really need. Um, we're running to challenge the system, you know, and we're running to say that, you know, uh, working people right now need jobs. We have a 10-point program um, that speaks to the needs of working people, and our number one concern is getting people jobs. Um, we believe that a job should be a constitutional right, and we believe that the government should pay for a large-scale government-funded jobs program to get people working again. Um, unemployment in this country right now is the highest it's been in decades. Unemployment for young people is the highest it's been since the government began recording those numbers. And unemployment in the black community is about twice that of the national average. Um, this is criminal and it's unnecessary. We've got enough money to spend to create jobs. Um, they, just, they just use that money instead to fund wars abroad, um, and they hand that money over to the banks and the private capitalists. So we're saying, let's seize the banks, let's provide money for education, for jobs, for housing, for health care. All these things are fundamental rights. All these things are things that people need. Um, and we're running this campaign to let people know that that's what the people want, um, and that's what we want the people to have. The electoral process right now is so fundamentally corrupt. Um, both the major politicians are estimated to spend about $2 billion just campaigning this year. Um, and you can't raise that kind of money as an individual um, unless you have the support of the biggest banks and corporations. So the big banks and corporations, they have paid for these politicians, they have paid for these elections, they bought and sold their candidates. Um, if you look at like who's funding the major, uh, major campaigns, a lot of the same corporations will fund both sides of the campaign, so that no matter who loses, the capitalists win, the rich people always win. What we have as a democracy right now, it's not a democracy, it's a plutocracy. It's completely funded by wealth and it only serves the interests of the wealthy. So we're saying we need a whole new government, we need a whole new system, um, and we need a system that represents the people, not a system that represents the big banks and the corporations. Um, so, and we need fundamental change, revolutionary change. Um, we can't just function in the same systems and hope that system will work better, we need a whole new system. We're saying we're challenging the system, we think of it as the old system, let's replace it with a new system, with socialism, with a system that is premised on meeting the needs of people, not premised on, on getting greater and greater profits for the wealthy few. Um, capitalism as a system depends upon the exploitation of many um, in order to enrich few. And like if you in order to enrich the few, like if you look at this, the way this country was founded, this country is founded on the slavery of African Americans, it was founded on the, the genocide and theft of the land of the American people. Um, and that was all predicated, that was all caused by the system of capitalism. So we're saying we need a new system, we need to throw out the old ways of doing things um, and start again and build a system that represents the people, that's for the people, and that takes care of the interests of the people. I, I'm running with Jody Osorio, who's the vice presidential candidate, um, and we're running to bring the needs of the people, to bring the struggles of working everyday people into the electoral arena. Um, so vote for us, help us join the campaign. You can find out more at votepsl.org. Uh, look us up and let's get out there and get the people moving together.